How's it going there, guys? Welcome back to the Weeb Lounge. I'm Nick, and in this character spotlight, we have ourselves a new edition of the ever-intelligent and cute Uni. And apparently she got so lonely, she built a robot of herself that was uh, more mature. Okay, so Uni's always a cute character, and you know, the whole thing with the flag and the school festival and everything. It, 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 I just noticed that's a big ink pen. Yep. Uh, makes sense. It's Uni. Uni, university. It's a little bit of a play on words there. Anyways. Alright, this character is actually pretty good, but does have a little bit of a mechanic to her. She puts like a learning field down, basically. It's, it, it, she calls it learning time, okay? Apparently she's the teacher now, sensei, whatever. And she puts that down and I'll get into it a little bit more here. Skill number one, skill number one. Magical mechanics analysis exercise. She's definitely on the uh, professor's side here. Reduces both magic and physical defense of the front range enemies a small amount. And during the learning time thing, basically when she puts the buff out, a little circle thing, will also increase the damage enemies take when crit by 8%. All right, it's not bad. I like it. Okay, we will go with it. Skill number two, the metaphysical extension theory. I pretty much only know one of those three words. Whatever. Increases the action speed and technique point generation of all allies, except for herself. During the learning time, she will also recover some of the technique points for all her allies. But not for herself. He like never buffs herself. Why not? It's just, like kind of selfless or something or whatever. It's just buff. Give yourself a buff. She don't need it actually. I'll get into that. Ex skill increases maximum hit 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 hit, hit points. Five stars greater greatly increases their max hit points, which is kind of odd. But since this is a primarily super support character, I guess that makes sense. It's fine. She does have a special skill. Look at this. This down here. Okay. Special skill. The Contraindicated fragment. Contraindicated fragment. Contra. This. Whatever the heck it is. I probably didn't translate that for nothing. I'll use Google Translate on this one, and it's probably bad, but you know, I'm just gonna leave it. This actually replaces her normal attack. This is kind of similar to how Karen's skills work. It increases the physical and magic attack power of all allies by 22% of their initial value, except herself. There's a reason why she doesn't need any of this. She has no offense. Literally none. She couldn't even kick a pebble toward the enemy or something. She will do zero damage to anything ever, which is going to make this next thing pretty interesting. But let's get to the Union Burst first. The Union Burst. Oh, God. Joint Illusion of Truth and Existence. I think she went over that in, like, one of the episodes of Season 2 of Princess Connect on uh, the anime. It's... You mentioned something about existence and the truth or whatever. I'll, I'll, well, do your thing, whatever. Increases the physical and magic attack of all allies except for herself. And this is what places out the learning circle. The learning circle slash buff on the field. Field will increase crit damage done by allies also by 12%. Yep. Pretty good. The learning circle time. At least it's not a crying circle. We've seen that at colleges. That's... That's a sad thing, but different story. Don't go there. Whatever. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw her into combat, even though she doesn't have combat. She will literally do zero damage. This is just for show. <laughs> she will not get through this. She has no ability to get through this. I could put her on 1-1 one, one and she will stand there forever, buffing everything. She will do literally nothing. So I've done jump up, dance around, kick whatever the heck that thing is supposed to be and just, yeah. She just does her thing. She can't even heal herself. So if I leave her here long enough, she will die. She can't heal. She can't hit. She can't do nothing. But she is like an SS plus tier character for support. I mean, obviously. What the heck else is she going to do? She's trying to play kickball and it blows up in the air before it even hits anybody. What was that? The Tungusta Meteor event? At least that blew out some windows. This is kind of cute, though. Look at that boy. Did she technically cross the finish line there or something? I don't know. That, that That's the healing circle thing. But what I don't like is that it doesn't leave the circle out. You know, I mean, I'm used to the buffs like that, like leaving some kind of visual representation of it out, but it doesn't. But 
whatever. She is an SS plus tier support that can fit into literally any group because all of these buffs she does are both magic and physical. So she could, magic group, physical group, doesn't matter. You can make some, make some both. And what is it, magic? It's either magical tome, I think it's magical tome where she combines physical and magic damage into one thing to do some big damage. Maybe there's a thing here. Maybe there's a thing here because all those buffs combined like, are, they're basically jacking her up all to high hell. I mean, you think about it, Tomo, Magical Tomo, if that's what I'm thinking, has got to be potential ridiculousness when combined with her. I need to experiment with this because the possibility is there and we ran out of time. But you guys still have time to like, share, and subscribe. Huh? <sighs> Sometimes I want to punch myself, seriously. Okay. <laughs> this character is going to be really, really good. It's also one of those characters that you can get. You can get get her, keep her at three stars. She'll likely be fine for like all of eternity. Just, you know, keep her rank up. Don't let her die. Get Keep the skill levels up and everything, right? Um, taking her to five stars, I mean, it does, um, it does raise her max hit points. And there was some argument somebody made that like the max hit point thing had some kind of varying something on her union burst to actually get it quicker so if you five starter she could get her union burst like slightly 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 faster if that's worth it to you then take her to five stars it don't matter it really it really don't you can take her to five stars leave her at three i'm pretty sure either or are perfectly fine but four, four stars is out three stars is okay one, two, three, four, five is good. Four, right out. We can't do four. If you do four, you're wasting your time. Don't do four. You got to go to five or you keep her at three. Four, no. Did I get my point across? I hope I did. On that note, see you in the next video.